It's going to be difficult for Na'Vi to get back into this one. Smoke's continuously put through. The spam has done quite a bit of damage, and nades being placed, but Tomazzi already winning another battle in towards that hookah position. I, I don't see a way back into this for Na'Vi. Yeah, good lurk out by Tomazzi. Too many players spotted an elbow that distracts them, draws their eye. And although he goes down eventually, uh, it looks to be done and dusted. Zipan trying to land that extra shot on Shin. They've been halted, and they're left with a pretty tough choice. Going through this smoke, you know they might have rotated. As we can see, there are four players waiting for these attackers to walk out. And once the flashes subside, the kills come in far too quickly. Thrash is going to find absolutely nothing. And Sugetsu's going to use this to try and reclaim some space. There is the Dizzy from the other side with a flash through, but he still wins his battle. The trade's back, though, from Martin and the rate of Fantastic. Leaving things on to just one Martin, attempting to try and do it. Oh, and he's going to take down the final player of Artis as well. But Navi have something up their sleeve. Viper's pit deployed, and the rocket doesn't get fired out in time. Sugetsu holds his ground inside of Hookah. And again, KC's aggressive push is put to a stop. Uh, Narate is taking a lot of damage. In that corner, he's gone down to the snake bite. An, an interesting decision. Perhaps he thought he'd get the upper hand as, as Sugetsu went walkabouts. Instead, he has perished to a snake bite. It's, uh, it's not what you like to see. Oh, definitely not the start they're looking for in a round where their economy is on the line. Our Viper's Pit is available, but they're actually just gonna go peeking. Angel goes down. Maybe not expecting anybody to swing that wide. Tomazzi also given another opportunity. The nade is going to leave Shin at least a little bit lower, but a round that was looking done. Well, it now starts to look a little bit more done with Shin dropping to the judge. Yeah, Tomazzi was even trying to catch an angle as Xiao came out or as someone emerged from spawn, but he's caught in the back. Too many players on Navi still floating around. Magnum needs a big old play to make this happen. One flash still to work with and one kill found, but that is where it ends. Back towards this B site. Angel is still in this corner. Hasn't been cleared, but it's only going to be the one. Even still, it gives the information over to Xiao. Viper screen immediately goes up, and he's just looking to brawl, but he loses this time. And Toxins weren't there to keep it on up, and Martin caught around the side. What's happening One with Artis? It's just found three kills, quick as can be. But Magnum somehow stands to equalize it. A one Down versus one, one Sagetsu, spot. who's been sublime thus far. But spotted out by the floating cabbages, Magnum realizes that player's a little too close. So the rotation comes in. The plant could be secured. It looks like it Ten will be. Nice, left. safe angle. But on the way back, there's a bit of danger. The timing could be perfect for Sagetsu. He rounds the corner, but just about misses him. Magnum's managed to slip away. And Sagetsu doesn't know where to. It could have been the walk to mid. The timing would have to be perfect. I think he'll suspect this position. But still two directions that Magnum can take it. it Cat and mouse for now. The first tap should draw Magnum, but he's he's not afraid. He thinks it's all a bait. And what a way to read that ruse. 2-2, two, two, the danger zone, and Fanavi they yet to lose what? on Martin again. He got off to the races very quickly in this matchup. Someone we know can take over these games, but it has been absurd the damage he's been able to do. And again, a double opener to kick off this round. The only danger here, I was gonna say there were three players within the B-side, Mitch, but now it's left to one. An artist's big uh, slowing utility to at least buy some time has already been used. That nade was thrown down quite cautiously on B-Long. And he's going walkabouts, but something tells me if he doesn't spot these players on long, which would just be Tamazi on a timing. Oh, he's seen him. Yeah, I, I was going to say, he's going to go to A. He's going to think he's flanking the real play. Instead, he does get back towards long, but what can he really do? He's going to flash out. Artis is going for the play. He went big last round, but this time he is shut down before he can even get started. Yeah, that did. That, okay. He has one less flash, I guess. Easy peasy. Spike planted. Uh, okay, so I was going to make the point. Viper's Pit, probably see it used here, Tom. Nope, not anymore. Not needed. It's a no. five versus two, because you've, uh, or five versus three, pardon me. One player trapped an elbow, no way to get revived, and a ton of control. I love this from Magnum. It's now, it's not even checked. No, they're being picked apart. The remaining player's just going to try and back out of there, and Xiao's caught on the way as well. We're going to see the second usage of that thrash. This time they are pushing off it. 
Oh, no chance for Angel to trade, though. Could be good for Xiao if it wasn't shut down so quickly. Tamazi there to play, and with the Viper's Pit still to work with, this could be the round where we see it get used. In fact, he's the one planting. Spike Questionable. Planted. We'll see Welcome if it does get activated. There world. we go. At long last, the Viper's Pit comes into play. And this is not what you want to see if you're on the side of Navi now having to defuse the spike and play through all this decay. And you won't be finding Viper all too soon either, because you've got a lot of players up close ready to take Tamazi's place in these duels. The fight around the back sees one kill traded out, but with the spike still to be touched, that's where the real problem comes in. And of course, the pit doesn't fully cover, but they believe they've got utility and they've certainly got the positions to fight back with time ticking away. A kill is needed very soon for Navi, and in fact, they'll find two. Now it goes back to Winnable with no snake bites. Tamazi has to run in, shorty in hand, and he can't get there in time. Just oh. about. But for now, at least, just walking up. Did they see Sagetsu? It doesn't look like it. The reactions aren't there just yet. The flash has caught him. It delays him a moment, and he goes down. Martin even found the kill on the zip band with the showstopper. Navi now on a serious back foot. Good paranoia. Paranoia and double peek after. Can't fault it. You can't do much about it on the side of Navi. Tamazi's positioning could be perfect. He's waited, but actually what? Xiao just gets the perfect timing. Shin goes aggressive, and while this very quickly is divulged into madness, so many individual fights being taken, and all of them being won by Na'Vi. It leaves the rate alone. You know that you don't want to give this man too much. They're just throwing the utility at him. He found three in quick succession. Down to just 38 HP, in fact 20, as the spams do even more. He needs to hit these final shots, and he needs everything to miss from the side of Na'Vi. You said he'd been a little quiet so far, but you can see that Na'Vi are giving him the respect he deserves at this stage. Sitting back with it, he's found his fourth of the round. May not know the shout's there, but he's able to reposition. He's able to fall back towards this B-site. But it was a fake Q. Xiao now knows where his opponent is. Thrash won't be here to help. It has to be the shot connected from Narate. The ace just a bullet away. There it is. So they're not really hitting. And Narate answers right back with a clean shot. The advantage now swings towards KC, but the spike has been planted. A chance for them to hold on to control, but they are being flanked on every which side. And these players now separated out, isolated in every duel. Molly line up for Xiao. Maybe he can buy a little bit more time, but Angel's going to have to go nuclear on this site. Last Good luck to standing. him. He doesn't even get the one. Ah, the molly. It's at least there, but as you said, we now need back-to-back -back 1v5s, and they're not going to allow that. Instead, it's the opposite. He's been so impressive. A lot to be done by Navi to fight their way back through. That's a good start with Shin down, and even managing to take Martin. Ah, it, it does seem One like Na'Vi, they, they don't get those opening battles. They barely want any opening duels, but off. when they have been good, it's been a response. Their 4v5 stats must be pretty decent at this stage. For Tamazi, it's about damage. Can he remove any extra weaponry? A first Boys goes his way, but I can tell you now, there shouldn't be anybody peeking. Especially with the util that's there, and eventually, Ardis. Looking like Magnum's going to be the one under pressure. Does have support from Hookah, but he needs to get out of here. Has a few supportive flashes, and straight in goes Zipan. A comfortable entry. Maybe not the most comfortable shots <laughs> onto <laughs> the Thrash. Oh, he, was, he was running out of ammo, so just trying to preserve in case they ran through to follow up on the Thrash instead. Thrash is on the floor. You've got no value for it, and you're not going to get it back. So very well handled from the side of Navi. They're going to use all of that to take out their utility. Martin still does well. Zipan should get a trade. No, actually, it's just damage. A lot of damage, in fact, that's been done. Magnum's not going to be able to survive any longer, but Shin what? does a little bit more. Narrate with the spam, but Zipan again. Player He's now tagged down to five, and it's left Fight all onto Sugetsu. The one versus one two hits remaining. that first shot. Tries to bait in Tomazi. It's going to be Viper on Viper. Timing here for Tomazi looks pretty good, but round the corner goes Sugetsu. The poison orb, and he's going to drop it just in time to take him down. But probably oh, that team. player is detained, is caught, but the TP comes through from KC to conserve the numbers. Naray what, picked what up a happened? double on the run through. <laughs> the spike was in their spawn. Bot was from far away. They might not clear the corner on the way through with so many players here. Orbital Strike draws their eye. And now here's the opportunity for Tamazi. So low on HP, but Narain capitalizes as they look to trade. Now, I don't know how Tamazi got the second one. Still on 24 health. 
And Sagetsu is going to have to capitalize. Sure, they've tagged up two of these players, but there's two healthy and ready to fight. Just now making it to site with a Viper's Pit, blocking out Sagetsu, and Spam's coming back. It's a formality at this point. One more round for KC. And that's what we're witnessing here, short of uh, 20 second 1v4 through a Viper's Pit, and frankly, end the series here if Sagetsu wins it. <laughs> Give him the win. Yeah, I, I think he's given up at this stage. 12 seconds, otherwise the map is done, and it is dusted. KC will take their opponent's map choice. Some impressive, and he's already running it down. Oh, he's having to move out of the way quickly, too. Can't quite move quick enough, but the trades come in. And Magnum is forced out of the B that. site by the looks of things. KC already going to be finding themselves in the back foot. Never mind. That was a blind spray through the smoke. Magnum's got a big smile on his face, and he's right to. Putting the numbers in their favor. The damage down as well, with Xiao tagged up a little bit. KC can group up and... Work this one together. Still the flash on the right to make their way through and a wingman to help on the defuse. This is going to be a strong round for KC as they get some information on the way through. Player on left blinded up and not taken uh, out. In fact, it's the shock dart that finds a kill and Xiao triples up. Now it's all Tamazi and the shoe has quickly found itself on the other foot. Navi! They've got that rotation already into position. Oh, looking to take this one pretty quickly. Magnum's already been dropped in the way through, and an isolated Shin has every direction to look at. Not quite able to catch the player that was stunned up, and now they're closing the distance, looking to take the fight themselves. Five versus two, five versus one. Falling like flies on the side of KC, and Tamazi left on the other side of the map with the entirety. No way to take their foot off the gas once they got going. For now, that won't be happening, as we already see Magnum go down, and it's not like you can really follow up on that trap from the current positions. So some easy space taking for the oh. side of Navi, as long as they can avoid these pistols. Maybe even the Stinger, too, because the Wraith's got a double. And now the round is winnable again for the defensive side with the spike dropped out in the open. And it's not like they've got anyone that makes it easy to retrieve that. No, a dart was just used as well, so they, they can't even try and clear any of these angles. The only thing that really benefits them is that none of the guns are, are retrieved yet. And I almost wonder if the side of KC are just going to opt to play the numbers, try and group up, try and push this one together. Shin has got to be careful. Left. He's almost walked backwards into the angle. Angel now just looking to try and blockade. I have the spike. But instead, they're just very wary of where these players are going to be coming from, just watching to see if anybody is looking to get a little bit Not ahead of themselves. Yet. Instead, he's going to throw out the dart, try and use that to almost distract right. as he will get the Fight afterplant. Planted. Reposition for the paranoia. I love it. It hasn't caught them, but it's forced them into a wider angle. Sagetsu down, and they know where Angel is. But look at the damage done. Already just 5 HP on Martin. It has to be Shin to help him out in this fight. They need to swing together, and the train is found. Shin with a wall bang headshot on the Sheriff. He's going to do overdrive in play. Looking for that fight onto Shin, and we'll find it. The rest of the team are able to rotate quite quickly, but they're taking damage as they do. Narate does well on the trades, and it's going to be down to just Tomazi, the rotator. But he almost has to fight this quick, oh otherwise they're going to have too many players to deal with. Oh. Man, that's, that, that's a tough round to watch. They fought ahead of the Cypher utility that was still online. Tamazi was playing in spawn specifically to keep those traps online. And they fight ahead of it. They give them the opportunity on the side of Navi to take duels and play this round on their own. Okay. Two Spike feet. Down a. One kill already. And the low HP artist hasn't yet been spotted. And Tamazi's spidey senses are tingling. He has to give away his position. Hasn't connected on that first player. Hoping for a little bit more, but they haven't really got anything from it whatsoever. Tamazi, though, this time falls immediately in the trade. Whoa, it's a little bit labored. Magnum's still alive. Shin has now come onto the table as well. And now, well, with all the ults just still in play, still being used along the way. Harvey don't really stand a chance. No, well, the six seconds left on the clock certainly That's doesn't help out, nor does the disadvantage in players that continues to stack up. Sagetsu now. And Angel now leading the way. They did the same again, flashed off his drone. He's not going to find anything for it. And even though they got into the site, they've lost that first man. They found my wire. They have. They and Navi love to fight from behind. This is somewhere they find value again and again. 
See if they can make it work this time as the plant still needs to go down. Martin falls and the aggression from Sagetsu shouldn't be expected. The flash is good. And Tamazi's follow up even better. Now the info as the hat comes off the head. Thrash finds its mark. And Angel, well, he's all alone up against the full might of KC. They know Angel's here now. That flash was thrown up and over. Paranoia oh. through. Good double to start with. And Tamazi's not letting go. They know where Angel is. They've known the whole time. Now they can narrow it down to just the one player. And no defuse necessary. We need this attack side to show us a few more. Okay. And a few more rounds. And this is not a good start. Traded out early. Martin yeah. stays alive. Yeah, it's one of those scenarios where I, I don't think Zipan is expecting four players to be peaking mid. And actually going to go pushing it, realizing that the gun is there. Sugetsu, though, now they get the firefight, and it's Sugetsu to clear them all up. Tomazi, he said he's just better. He's going to try and do exactly the same. A second one, though. They're just facing up against this guy, finally. They're going to go and get themselves a post plan. I've been waiting for it for a couple of rounds. But they didn't need to fight him. And now, one away from the neural theft. He gets a kill here. He's already on a fast flank. Might not necessarily be expected. In fact, Chow is just going to go walking in. Lucky for him that he survives, and Ardis is there as the backup plan, but they've had a lot of success getting into the B site. But the retakes have been solid. Martin again, Tomazi from the back. Already giving them a double man advantage. A post plant should be available for Na'Vi. But this is the thing. Look at what is left. Almost all of the utility and neural theft to find that extra information. Good luck, Na'Vi. It looks like that Neural Theft came in early. I don't know how he's predicting that with pinpoint accuracy, but Angel's got to be frustrated. Tapped down to 50 HP through the boxes. Last pack in the back, another one going through, and the push will come on the back of it. Not going to catch either player in the crossfire. Still good, but the defuse underway. Half already, and there's no chance to answer back. The 50 HP Angel was all that was left, and he deals the first blow. And coming through. But the big deal is that showstopper. Martin picked up an orb earlier on and now has it online to work with. Magnum dropped right off rip. But now they'll look to entry back through, and here it comes. The showstopper any moment now as the nade goes through to the right. Martin gets up nice and close. Blast packs in play. Does he find his mark on the way through? They've fallen back, and he will find Xiao. But at what cost? The trade out. It forces them into the angle. The Hunter's Fury firing off all the while, and now they can spray up against that wall. Not finding a kill as they do, but the shots coming back confirmed. There's two. They know this round is already in the books for the side of Navi. And the round, not going to matter what happens afterwards. As the half comes to a close, it's seven to five. KC have a lot of players to deal with on the way through, but no, that blind is perfect. No chance for Sagatsu to fight. Xiao, though, does some damage on the cross. Angel down as well. And KC yet to find a, an angle to fight from. Looks like just recovering that wingman and not going to main. Smoke online for Shin, but not used. They just want to fight this, and it's worked out to start. That was disgusting. Peeking ahead of the util. This time, though, the trade is in. Information should be grasped, but they don't actually spot the third player. That could put a little bit of doubt in the minds of this Na'Vi side. The spam not connecting anything, but now they need to get onto this. Sugetsu can only find one, but they are sticking it on that defuse. They've made it to half, but both players are within one shot. In fact, all it takes is one bullet from Magnum. The main goal. It's not worked out, though. Sugetsu goes peeking. Zipan is caught trying to fight into mid. It's not going well for the side of Na'Vi until Shao at least manages what? one, it's two! He's on the boost! That's such a common spot for Omen players, and uh, he's got away with murder. I guess again, tunnel vision by the flash that went through. They see a player on the side, that's where you're looking as you swing on in. Not expecting a sneaky little play from Shao. He escaped with 44 HP as well. Tamazi gets nothing in the way of information other than one player close, which is something they, they could have guessed. Navi, sat down in position. Left. Knife gets nothing. So you start the rotation. Start to think about where these players on the attack could be taking the spike. That's why we see Angel on the other side of the map. But Artis has to stand strong. And it's only one kill found. The now they move Rash ever closer. Rash is used. Of course, they expect more players to be here. But it is wide open for the taking. The plant needs to be Ten safe. And it left. looks to be. Nothing to really push them out. Angel might have a shock dart ready, but planted. he's got his rifle in hand instead, looking for the fight. They're separated. Yeah, shock dart through to force him into Xiao's waiting arms. And it's only now right left. One of the strongest players we've seen in quite a while, but he's got to get on that spike. It's being defused as we speak, and he's forced 
B, though. Ooh. It's stacked up. Martin on his way through. Good rocket. It hasn't found the kill. In fact, these players still on Navi are dishing out damage. Three versus two. Down to a two versus one. But Tamazi has to retrieve that spike. And, well, if he sprints through, he's going to pick it up for free. He's in and he's out. Oh. An immediate shot and the reveal available. Timing is going to be absolutely everything. But Angel just slightly ahead of where he expected it. Passive shout. Start to realize what you're truly what? up against. And a spam from Artis gets a kill. Yeah, I mean, that is just unfortunate. Cleared one out. Angel's reposition, but it's a little bit labored. And then look like they're still tempted to fight this. Bear in mind, the weaponry is so far in Navi's favor that they don't really have a need to take gambles here. It's worked out for Artis, though. Winning every single fight put in front of him. On for the ace, as Magnum is the only man remaining. May just try and get a plant in. Instead, though, he's, he's going to go pushing. Oh. He wants to give Artis the fight, and Artis will take it all day long. Looking at his narrate. He's got his ultimate. It's not going to be used oh. instead. It's just Martin going out. Their own recon drone. Well, from hero to zero. Artis already gone. Pop flash over the top. Angel and Xiao already again. It's these preemptive retakes, but grouping up as a unit. Sugetsu has been able to find a gap. Martin low, but... A high-low setup makes this fight fairly awkward. Maybe not quite in line, though. That will leave it up to Magnum. Two kills already to his name. Two more needed to be found. And he's going to have to take a peek around. This does manage the kill onto Zugetsu. Just five HP remaining for him. And while Xiao, the Sova KO combo, they normally find something. And while they've spotted one in the back of mid, Angel doesn't need to overface this now that they've got that man advantage. Cage three. That drone just spotted two, maybe even three players on mid. Shock dart. A bit of information to play with. Seconds left. Although the shock oh, yeah. might not find its mark. Now we just need to sit back as Thrash comes through. Clears out some space, but a glorified recon drone. And the castle now by the ult in play. A good attempt by Magnum to find value, but spotted with perfect timing from Xiao. The defensive side stacks the advantages now. Five versus three oh, as Hunter's no. Fury is called in. And another nail in the Last coffin of this done. round. It was almost Spike a guaranteed kill eight. for the Hunter's Fury, but Artis went swinging ahead of it, leaving Tamazi on 5 HP, trapped in a corner to get back into this one. And the blast pack hasn't worked out straight into the path of the bullets of Navi. The wall up, and Shin will try to cross. He'll get safely I into the corner. Exactly but Xiao is around here, looking to drop them, Ooh. even as Artis is pushed back, and he'll just about make it out. Yeah, they had to retreat. Neural theft gave them away. Drone. We'll do the same on the other side, but Narate is going to deny them at least a little bit of extra space. Still the rotation coming through from Sugetsu. A single kill for him. We'll get his all online. Spotting a player in the back corner, but again, this group up, this aggression coming out. It comes down to the 1v1, and Sugetsu is going to be there to close it. Locked down for a little bit of a celebration. But ultimately, once again, Na'Vi lose their own map. They go into their opponents, and guess what? The exact same scoreline the other way around. Push to site. They'll try to scrap with the players on ramp already, dropping Magnum, and now Sagetsu's on the right clicks. He's found himself a double, and they haven't seen Artis either. Oh, it's looking beautiful. It's looking clean. They're so ready for this fight. Sagetsu's good for the first, but Magnum's done a world of good for this attacking side with 10 seconds left. They set foot on the site, and the spike will see the floor in the last couple of the round. KC, three versus one, and it's the leader of Navi leading by example this time if they're to have any chance. And well, that paranoia has sealed his fate. It'll be a moment to breathe as the A site is realized as the true target. Sagetsu picks off the player on B, but now they see it's wide open. Sprays through the smoke. A little bit of damage done, but KC took away. Three players on site, and Martin's not got the best of positions. It, it is a good spot, but as we can see on the map for this retake, it doesn't look like it will find any fruit. Said he has to be swinging as they make their way out onto the side, and it's a very narrow gap and margin for him to take. But he'll find one off the reveal. Oh, the wow. snake bite is perfect. And Tamazi even swings in for a headshot on Xiao. They maybe have given it up. They're rotating. But no, there's a judge close. And now they start to realize what was going on. Why, why everything got so quiet so quickly. The advantage sits to Navi. And in a round like this, Oh, it's so valuable to be able to group up and... Sure, the trades aren't likely, but if you find them, the round can be yours. The lead can stay to Navi. Oh,
the, the thing is though, Angel, he's actually gonna go pushing! He oh! manages to get two of that! I, I feel like he should have been dead almost immediately! I just catch him a second time! I, I, you gotta feel foolish for KC at this point. Two aggressive pushes, two with massive success, and even the stinger. But as the ults come in and the players cascade onto the site, here comes the rocket. A big opportunity, oh! and it's found two. Zipan on point with his third shot, swinging in for more, and he'll eventually be shut down. But he's done his job, and he's done enough. 3v1, and Magnum has to dig deep to have any chance at taking this across the line. They know where he is, the seize is perfect, but he was already low. Put him in a box, they know exactly where he's playing, and, and the worst case, he can't oh. get away. Nice shot by Zip. Paranoia as well was so well timed. The nade too. Not only are you blind, but you have to move as well. It's so much harder to keep your crosshair pinned on those ropes and fire at the right time. When you can't see a thing, and you got to move. Quick trade as well. Navi, I would say keep the advantage. This defense spread thinner, but it's where KC are going. It's the steps towards B main that's been taken. Navi have already stepped in. Taking this angle, although Xiao is spotted, it's Shadow the second player. You might not expect Angel to be here. In fact, you may almost try to pressure after you've taken the side in towards this angle, and that's when they strike. Only one for now. And they know Xiao left. is here. He's the player that was accounted for in this play. So they're gone looking, they're gone hunting, and yet to find him. Did he slip back to main? The question now running through their mind. There's the answer, but it comes at a heavy one cost. Enemy. Again, down to the 1v1 with Navi still having rolling thunder. 15 seconds left, and here it comes. You're going to be pushed off the site, back into a safe position, at least for Shin. But here comes the stun, and after that, the aftershock. Oh, it's going to get a little dangerous. No, the utility's not put down. Instead, Artis swings his way around the smoke up close and catches the back of Shin to try and get rid of. But a bit of an unorthodox spot from the Ray is not going to be Checked. He doesn't win the battle though. Shin, however, is very quick to trade things out, but Navi have turned this back into a winnable scenario. Zipan with the showstopper, but so low, it might not be the time to use it. He almost does it anyway. And if it's placed in the right spot in the corner, he's going to take it home. It's a nade that we have seen, and that's all I'll say about it. For Nerade, they might not expect him to. They expect them to Again, still be around here, here, and Navi take what? every kill. I mean, we can't even, can't even see one because they all come in at the same damn time. It's going to be this push. Multiple players here. Easy. Martin is already dead. Ah. It will be a trade out, though. Saigetsu is still seconds. somehow surviving at least a second longer than he should have done. Stun. No one can really play off it, but there is still the Rolling Thunder available for artists. Look how far away Zipan is, though. I think they were still expecting this to be a rotation back to the other side of the map. So he is a, a country mile away from here. This fight could be everything, and Tamazi wins it with relative ease. Arn is going to throw his ult in, might as well, but he has to clear the close angle, does do it, but Tamazi is there. Equalization of KC, and they end up with three at the half. The okay. push is good. Martin's in, but he's not out. <gasps> not using the gate crash yet, and that uh, could have been a costly mistake. I didn't expect Sugets to be there on a, another Whoop. late look. The right Tink has just been connected onto... To Mazzi and Sugetsu, his only plan here is to be Toxic annoying, to waste time, to be in their back. This guy's is already. They're gonna try and get back in. Angels found another. It's awkward, but Shin wins the fight. Still, that man is lurking in the back lines. Look how low they are. They might all go down, but instead, it's a quick trade. Xiao now stuck, surrounded, has to try and isolate one, and that's exactly what he'll do. But the snake bites might have just done the job. He is sat there in the back. A second one will be going. And oh, Shin, he's got it. the time is ticking away. I don't even know if there's anything he can do at this stage. Just looks to try and get the final kill. They didn't clear this man out, and he will close out the round for Na'Vi again. Denied that rotation for a second or two longer, and what? even set up a nice <laughs> little angle that Tamazi somehow wins off of. Uh, Zipan's face said it all. He was surprised as anyone. Two players looking to try and reclaim that ground. It's going well for KC, but there's always a response. Xiao is on just one HP. Last lease of life and already trapped, but I don't know if anybody's actually going to be able to push Ardis off of the angle. The seize was good, but they didn't get the kill. And well, you don't kill this man off, he punishes you. Back to fighting for him. Ooh, nice kills though. It's only to get to, and he can't even run the clock down. He has to win the fights, and he won't. I think that would go a little bit further. They really want to try and fight this. And while well, eventually he'll go down, but the trade is immediate. An angel, like shooting fish in a barrel, takes Narate's head clean off. 
This was looking more towards main. Magnum's closer now than he was expected to be, but that's stunned from Artis. His utility has been on point. This is a player that in the early days of Valorant was known for being on a team full of no-brainers, just aimers. It, G2, back in the day, it was painful to watch them play because they didn't give a damn about default set strats, executes. No, they, they executed you. To head in, the site's going to be taken by Zipan. Not much they can do. Stop that great horn, though. That's going to be a freebie. And that space that was garnered has quickly been lost. With his life, counter utility put in though. Plant not going to be denied, but yeah. dimensional drift is going to be thrown yeah. in just to get all of the information KC could ever need. Got two players. Well, one of them's already dead. There's the third spotted, and all accounted for. Good paranoia. Fantastic paranoia. It didn't catch out, but the bullets of Tomazzi certainly did. And Artis is now, after retreating and being spotted, falling back, left with no choice. Tight position for Xiao, some damage done. He's got some support down below in the vents. They just need to distract long enough for Sagetsu to strike, and that he will. A quick double and a clean bit of control for this side. The drop down to site is going to be tough to follow through on. Okay, the paranoia is actually good, but look at Artis just repositioning immediately. Having control going to be retaken. The plant spot, not great. They do have to flood back to the side if Artis goes down, but he is holding strong. Tamazi still hadn't left heaven. He will die there. Yeah, this will be a very tough round to break. They're already going in. The pace is how they want to solve it. But Navi have answered back. Artis grabbing himself a kill, still with utility. In fact, almost a full belt of utility to play with. And as they've broken the pace of this retake, KC slow it down, start to focus on the site. Sagetsu's got his flank underway. They're buying time. And they'll buy plenty of it on the site. Artis firing away his utility. Tamazi grabs two, but they still have to deal with Sagetsu. Still have to drop this man. And he's got a double with a pin down. The spray will not catch the kill. Tamazi has four kills to try and claim this, and he won't find it. Sagetsu closing it out. Fantastic play on Viper. A beautiful lurk and a beautiful game from Navi.